Okay, so we've started the Z170 Pro Gaming Asus update and refresh project. We are updating the BIOS. So I disconnected the um, SATA secondary drive. So the Windows drive is the only hard drive on there. I've downloaded the BIOS onto a USB key. The USB key was formatted to FAT32 first. And I got the driver, or not the driver, but the BIOS update off the website. Now apparently, and we've got no mouse, and we've got a black screen. Did that? Not sure if this is normal. I didn't <laughs> think this is what happened. I thought it asked me to click OK. I couldn't move the mouse. Then this happened. So if it doesn't come back on, I will switch on the sorry, switch off the computer and take. It is the 2018 BIOS, so the one in the YouTube video that I watched was probably 2016. Yeah, this is why I didn't update the BIOS before. I didn't think. <laughs> I well, the truth is, I thought it would go smoothly. I just feared that it wouldn't, and. You know, sometimes your instincts are right. What's the power button? Let's do the reset button. Just holding down the power. It's gone off. Lights are still flashing. Let's turn it back on. I thought the black screen of death was meant to happen on the second reboot. Trying to do something. Okay, it's trying to do the bias update. Goes quiet, then it fires back up. So this is quite different to the to the YouTube video, where. All right, hold on. Please enter setup to recover BIOS setting. Okay, so F1. Didn't say to continue, it said to recover. We've got the mouse back. Now, does it say? I thought it was meant to tell you. Maybe it said on the startup. So, this is actually correct. And we'll just run it again, I suppose. Do next. I mean, I feel like it's already done. Um, OK, 
Can I just save and exit? Used to be F10. This is the normal startup screen. Again, Windows. Alright, so we're going to Windows and then we'll do a couple of reboots and just see what happens. If it's booting up normally, I just have to get my privacy here. Alright, we're logged into Windows. And everything's working. There's a bunch of other stuff you can update, like ME tools. I'm not really too sure about that. I kind of feel like doing that, but I also am a little bit worried. I might do a bit of a bit of a read up on that. Um, I think this BIOS update alone allows me to, to run a 7700K CPU. So very weird, like it said to go and refresh. I, I don't know why it told me to go back in to the BIOS anyway. Everything is working. I'm going to do a restart. So Windows is restarting. Hopefully the whole computer. Instant burn, restart anyway. I'll just test the restart and then I'll do a proper shutdown and try and find out if we've got rid of that CPU overclock error. It didn't come up on this boot. Um, I might even try, no, I can't change RAM speed. Okay, it's gone into Windows. So it's tentatively looking like the BIOS update has gotten rid of the CPU overclock error, which had been there for nine years. Um, but that error didn't always come up. But it tended to come up, I think, if you did a quick restart like that. So now I'm going to do a shutdown. I'll just wait for Windows to... Windows is shutting down. So already we've fixed the noisy fan, kind of, we've disabled it. You know, I'm even going to switch off the power supply. Just to... So it's funny, you, you have these LEDs flashing. <laughs> I wonder where the power is stored to make it do that. It's literally switched off at the back of the power supply. Not sure if that's coming up on the camera. Okay, that was the last one. All right, I'm gonna switch the power supply back on. I'm going to press the power button. A little bit of noise coming from that uh, CPU fan, but I think it was the case fan that was making the really bad noise. Okay, Azus. Now, overclock error would come just after this. Straight to Windows, fantastic. After nine years. So I'm pretty sure you'd always get that overclock error on a quick uh, reboot like that. Privacy mode, excuse me. Why the fast boot time? Like, it almost seems to be booting. 
more quickly.